Howard Jacobson is a prominent British novelist and journalist. He's Jewish and also a prominent supporter of Israel. And he's complained to the BBC about their coverage of the Gaza war. Oh, poor BBC. I love the BBC. I've watched BBC News for as long as there's been BBC News, and I've trusted it. I don't think it's had a very good war. I think it's been too inclined to disbelieve anything the Israeli army says. I'm not saying they have to agree with the Israeli army. I'm not saying they have to take sides. I'm not saying that what's on our screens isn't horrific. And if it's horrific, we need to see it. But do we need to see some of those images quite as often as we see them? The same image, as it were, or another version of it again and again. Some nights... Some would say yes. Hmm? Some would say yeah. Well, I would say... What you do when you do that is you virtually take a side. Some would say maybe there's only one side, but there's never only one side to an argument. It is agonising to see what's happening, but there are reasons for it and complex reasons for it. But more important than that is when is when they have made a mistake, a very costly mistake sometimes, they've made a very bad job of apologising for it. They haven't apologised grandly enough. They haven't understood that when they say the Israelis have bombed a hospital, which the Israelis have not bombed, provably not bombed. They haven't taken into account that while that story has been, while the lie, and there are enough lies that Jews have to deal with, while that lie, while that lie has been circulated, how many more anti-Semites have been made by that lie? And you know what happens if you're an anti-Semite once you're an anti-Semite for life. Now, sort of in that clip, in that argument, I assume Howard Jacobson was referring to the explosion at the Al Atli hospital that was at the start of the war. In fact, it's still very much disputed whether that was caused by a misfired rocket or Israeli artillery. But it doesn't really matter either way, because Israel then went on to attack every single hospital in Gaza. Every single hospital. Should the BBC not report that in case it creates, in his words, anti-Semites, right? And this was the most chilling part of his intervention. He complains, with reference to Palestinian casualties, that the BBC keeps showing, quote, the same image, as it were, or another version of it. Now, the BBC and the Western media in general has certainly not shown the same image of Palestinian suffering every day. But what we do see is different pictures, different images of different Palestinians who've been killed, who've been maimed, or who've been orphaned. Because there are new Palestinians being killed, maimed, or orphaned every single day. Presumably, though, to Howard Jacobson, once you've seen one orphaned Palestinian, one Palestinian family wiped out, or one Palestinian mother maimed, well, you've seen them all. They are just another version of the same image. If you've seen one dead Palestinian, why do you need to see another? Completely chilling. Of course, I think the BBC should be showing more images of Palestinians who've been killed, right? Because this is happening every day. Howard Jacobson, you, you all, they already get the, they get the idea, right? The, Israel are killing lots of Palestinians. They get the idea. Do you, do you need to keep showing them? 